Hi Taurus, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Taurus, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading, where I'll pull your affirmation using oracle cards and a final message from your spirit guides, tying everything together. Wow. So let's dive right in. Look at this. You got temperance, king of cups, someone very empathic, intuitive, someone that has a beautiful soul is going to be brought into your life through your angels and guides directly or indirectly, right? So this could be a referral, this could be a friend, family member, or this could be just be like bumping into them. And right now your angels and guides are telling you that you know this person from a past life, there's a very strong connection. When you see them, you're going to recognize their energy. Like when I met my wife, I was like, whoa, where do I know her from, right? It wasn't a superficial thing. I didn't recognize her avatar. I recognized her energy. Past lives, so we were probably samurais in one life. We were probably caveman, cave woman in one life. We probably had everything. In one life we were Westerns, right? Western that's even a word but right now we like I recognized her and that's the same thing here you're going to recognize this person now your angels are reminding you that you are a magnet and you always attract what you emit this is so important so the better you feel the more you allow now your angels are telling you this because you got the seven of swords here and you got the five of wands. And this is about not putting too much pressure on yourself. So not telling yourself, I should have been married by now. I should have been rich by now. I should have been pregnant by now. That energy right there is the quickest way to a lower frequency. Your angels and guides do not want this. Anytime we are hard on ourselves, our angels are probably like, oh my goodness, is this really happening? Why? Because they cannot enter our life and help us then. Not because they don't want to, but because they can't. The only time your angels and guides can ever communicate with you, help you, show you what to do, teach you, bring opportunities to you only one time when you're in a high frequency because they are in a high frequency. Imagine frequency is a language. Their language is love. In order for them to tell you what to do, your language needs to be love. Whenever you're hard on yourself, your language is fear, right? So it doesn't work. Opposites don't attract here. Like attracts like law of attraction. So they're waiting for you to really take things to the next level and ascend and come see them. And that's why you always manifest who you are and not what you want. And this is why your angels and guides are telling you that they're just waiting to rearrange their, 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 their world to your beliefs. Like they're waiting to rearrange it and reshape itself. The universe is waiting to reshape itself to match your beliefs, but they need you to really summon that inner line within you. You got the strength card, you got the fool. Summon that, that inner being, summon that higher self, summon that inner child, right? Remember who you truly are. Tap into that energy, use appreciation, which is the shortcut to your manifestation to get what you're looking for. Money is your birthright. You're meant to be rich. You don't need to ever ask, am I going to be rich? You are meant to be rich. Now, the same way you're ah, meant to breathe oxygen, you're also meant to be with your soulmate. It's in alignment with you. Joy, happiness, peace, all these things are your birthright. Now, in order to get this, use appreciation. Appreciation is the shortcut to your manifestation. What does that mean? Right now, Imagine you want a promotion at work. Rather than be like, I can't believe I didn't get the promotion yet, resistance. Tell yourself, I am grateful to have a job. This is it. Remember, pretend you are in a game show, right? Uh, Price is right, Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune. You must have seen one of these. Now, how's the game show work? You're in a certain level, you pass that level, you move on to the next level, and then there's the grand level. Right now, the level you are, you need to go on to the next level. Use appreciation, gratefulness, or most importantly, being excited to get what you're looking for. Remember when, like, when you got went on your first date? Remember you had butterflies in your stomach? Remember when, remember when you moved into your first apartment, how excited you were when you got your first car, right? That excitement right there, that is the bread and butter. That right there is how you let your inner child know we are good to go. And that's when everything comes. When you are that excited, you can expect everything to run to you at supersonic speed. But whenever we're wishing, wanting, hoping, needing any scarcity, it takes forever. And that's why you got the king of pentacles, 10 of pentacles. This is a reminder right now that you are meant to fly first class. You are meant to buy that dream house. You're meant to drive that Lamborghini. You are meant to be able to, you know, don't 
donate money to charity if you want. You're meant to tip 50% if you want. You're meant to, you know, buy anything you want without having to check your bank account. This is what spirit wants for you, right? You've experienced contrast already. You know what it feels like not to have money. Now you're supposed to know what it feels like to have lots of money, lots and lots and lots of money. And this is coming from a guy who knows, right? Like I used to like, you know, you know when we came to this country, my family, you know, we were refugees. We had nothing. We literally lived in the projects. Like it was crazy. We used to eat like pita bread with ketchup was our pizza in the microwave. This was for many years. Now it's like, shoot, man, we got our Airbnbs. We got Amazon businesses. We got day trading, which is the bread earner. We got the YouTube channels just for fun. Literally, this is our service giving back. So you can do this too. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You can 100% do this. In today's world, 2024, this can get done. Doesn't matter how old you are. My parents got YouTube channels. Everyone can do this, right? But you got to tap into your higher self to know what to do. Now, check this out. You got the Knight of Cups and also the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is about celebrating a monumental moment soon. Knight of Cups is someone who's very empathic and that really matches that King of Cups energy. So your angels are telling you to really trust your intuition and you will be guided to a major celebration. And this really means feel good first and then your manifestation will follow. Your angels and guides, remember, they only speak to you when you're in a high vibration, when you feel good. So if you're feeling good, every single instinct that you get, follow it. So right now, imagine if you are like imagine if I wanted to figure out how to meet my soulmate or get rich what would I do first first thing I need to do in order to figure out what to do and get messages from the universe is get an alignment what gets me in alignment well going for a walk gets me in alignment reading a book gets me in alignment exercising gets me in alignment uh, being kind to others gets me in alignment uh, being excited so I'm going to be excited for the food I make the food I make I'm just going to make it really fun and exciting the clothes I wear I'm going to make sure it represents my genuine authentic self like right now I could be wearing a Bretling watch with a Giovanni shirt it wouldn't represent me. I could care less. I'm wearing, literally, I could be wearing a gold chain down to my neck. What am I wearing, right? If I want a gold chain, I wear I'm wearing an obsidian stone with a lion head on it that represents my dog that passed away, my, K, my canine that, that I loved, my first dog ever. I absolutely loved it. So this is, you know, I'm representing myself. Represent you. Wear your hair the way you want. Wear your nails the way you want. Do what you want. You are going to get so many insights, downloads, and clarities when you do this. And us empaths, whenever we're not people-pleasing, right? Whenever we're attracting. And then you'll be in alignment and alignment executing. Alignment trumps execution every time. Alignment first, action step second, right? This is the most important part. Now, you got the Hierophant and Justice. Justice is the Law of Attraction card. Hierophant is exactly what it looks like. Very mystical, spiritual, and quantum energy. And your angels and gadgets reminding you that you're a high frequency, high energy light ray, which means you are soul. Don't associate yourself with your bills, your worries, your thoughts, your things. Don't associate yourself with your avatar. Associate yourself with your inner being, your consciousness. This avatar has a genetic cap of 120 years. Then it decays. It's okay. You get reincarnated. Trust me, everything's all good. But right now, understand that, that inside this avatar is a soul. You have to feed the soul. The soul wants wisdom, knowledge, and experience. The soul wants to basically learn stuff and to do stuff. It doesn't want to do the same thing as yesterday. The ego wants that. That, okay the soul does not want that at all it wants to learn and experience new stuff have fun do the things you did when you were a kid draw sing dance art play whatever right do those things and then you will be so magnetic you will track money and love in your life now, speaking of money and love, let's tap into your affirmation today and attract abundance. All you got to do is write down the following words in the comment section exactly as you see here. When you're writing this down, breathe life into these words by feeling it, guys. Feeling is the secret. Very important. And as you write this down, you're quantum entangling with abundance and letting your angels and guides know you're ready. Now, your affirmation for today is, I am compassionate with myself. It takes time to heal. This is very important. Write this down in the comment section. I am compassionate with myself. It takes time to heal. You are confirming that you are aware to the universe that I have learned this lesson. I understand that this third dimension is full of you know chaos, stimulation, and fear. And right now, I am healing from all that. I am compassionate with myself. It takes time to heal. Write this down in the comment section, proving that you are not putting pressure on yourself. This is how you invite abundance. Give this video a like and just attract what is your birthright into your life. All right, Taurus, now final message from your spirit guides. And their final message is, if they once loved you, they still do. Look at that. And right now they say, thanks for every single time you ever fall in love. Whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it lasted, and whether or not you were loved back, it changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back. 
right now your angels and guides are telling you to love unconditionally right if someone is not showing the love back right then and there it's not them it's their ego it's not their soul soul to soul soul does not have an ego right your soul within you is someone who's very kind and genuine and wants the same thing for others and everyone's souls like that but the ego that people have us humans it, it, it makes us live in fear so again if someone is not showing the love back they will it's just they're on their own journey and they will come around all right, Taurus, hope you enjoyed uh, your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.